To find the formal charge for each element in C2H2, we use this Lewis structure here and this formula. Let's do the hydrogen first. Hydrogen, that's in group one on the periodic table. That means it has one valence electron. We'll subtract the unbonded valence electrons. All of these electrons around the hydrogen, they're involved in a chemical bond between the hydrogen and carbon. So that's zero. And then we'll subtract half of the bonded valence electrons. These two right here, they're involved in the chemical bond. So one minus one, that equals zero. So the formal charge on the hydrogen, that's gonna be zero. And this hydrogen, it's identical, symmetrical there. So it'll be zero as well. Let's find the carbon. Carbon's in group 14, sometimes called 4A on the periodic table. It has four valence electrons. We're looking for unbonded. All of the electrons around the carbon are involved in chemical bonds. So that's gonna be zero. And then we'll subtract half of the bonded electrons. So we have two, four, six, eight. Four minus four, that's zero. So the formal charge on the carbon here, that's zero. And then this is the same thing, that's zero as well. So all of the formal charges are zero. So that means this is the more stable or more favorable Lewis structure for C2H2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.